All right, so I'm here. I'm going to be testing out a ton of text to 3D models and maybe even some image to 3D models here. So I'm going to start off with the basic Google Blast here. We've got the shotgun approach. Um, I've opened up a lot of these in their respective tabs. I got Meshly, 3D Fi.ai, Alpha 3D, uh, I think Dream Fusion is another one, and then we've got Sloyd and then a few other ones that repeat. And then I have one that takes forever to set up. This one is uh, LGM. This one is a local version. So it runs on my GPU. And you can see here, it is just tearing up my um, usage. It's not even on, and it's already using like six gigs. It's using the max amount of GPU memory. So that's doing its thing. Anyhow. Yeah, I'm not going to run this one first. I'm going to run it probably last. So I've opened all these up, and there's that. So I'm going to do it from uh, Meshly, because that's the one that popped up first. Uh, so Meshly, they are on a token basis. They give you 200 tokens a month. This one resets in two days, and then they give you other things. It costs about 20 bucks a month for 100 credits, or you can pay annually, whatever. Um, you can buy credits but only after you subscribe. You can get some credits for um, either getting uh, featured or you're just sharing your results as someone opens it. So I'm going to go straight to uh, Texture 3D. I did make some models so far. So I'm going to do it from scratch here just to showcase how this will look. And so I'm thinking here what kind of model would be good. Typically, uh, there's a three, there's a few categories. There's realistic, low poly, and cartoon. I'm gonna do a realistic one because I think that would be um, nifty. Uh, so let's let's think of something here. Um, low poly is good for games. Cartoon also kind of like Fortnite kind of game uh, ready because there's not too many uh, let's call it polygons for it. Uh, realistic is what I'm aiming for. So let's think here. Um, we're gonna. I'm gonna create something that I think would be cool in a game. Um, so let's say I'm making. Um, let's say I'm making some kind of shooter game. Let's call it the 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 chaos assault rifle. Oh, chaos cyber assault rifle. Whatever that's supposed to be, right? So uh, realistic. So every generation here, it's gonna take five credits. I've got three fifty. So I'm gonna just do it. What it's going to do is it's going to create uh, four low quality, low res uh, generations. And then of those ones, I'm going to refine and choose which ones that I want to use. So this is relatively fast. It's already 50% done and it's only been like a few seconds. So these are pretty good. Now there is a negative prompt here. If let's say it's generating things and I like, let's say I don't want it to be uh, an AK and I want to be like MP5 style, I could put that in here or if it's a specific color. But I don't know what I'm going to get. I'm going to be pleasantly surprised. All right, so these are the low quality quick previews for a Chaos, a Cyber Assault Rifle. We're going to see how that looks. So we've got, um, again, it is really low poly, really low detail because it was done really quickly. Uh, that looks like... Um, Kind of like an AK style thing. What how about this one? Uh, okay, it looks all right. What about this? Uh, we got some high contrast. We got the white. It looks like a stormtrooper gun. Um, this one's weird. You see, there's like a handle. I don't like this one. It's got a handle inverted. So that one's bad. This one is decent. This one is also decent. And this one has like a, a hand grip in the beginning, or uh, the fronts of it. But I think that the best ones are going to be between this one and this one. And this one has high contrast. So I'm going to refine this one, and I'm going to let that queue up. Um, and these are on the realistic things. So this is Meshly. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Now, I'll show one of the highest quality ones I made. I made a sandwich the other day. So these were the low polys. This was the initial sandwich. I refined it and it turned out to this. I mean, look at this detail. It's, it's kind of crazy. You can see like the freshness of the bread, the vegetables like peeking out from the bread. It's quite crazy. Now, if I wanted to download it, 
I can download it as FBX, OBJ, GOB, uh, blend file, uh, STL. So it has a handful of formats that it likes, which is pretty nifty. So while this one finishes up, this one is going to take a little bit of time. We'll move on to the next one, but this one's Meshly. Uh, it's, re it's pretty much free to use. There are ways to get more credits. If you're a heavy user, then might as well buy it. But if you're just making like an asset here and there, then um, there's no need to, to buy it really. So there's that. Um, now, the next one I'm going to go over is 3D file. Some of these I haven't checked out yet. And so we're going to look at it live. We're going to go through the same thing. So we're going to open up the app here. We can try text to 3D, same deal. Uh, let's see, I wanna, I wanna do a quick sign up. Okay. See how quickly we can get to actually using the thing. We can use the same, we're gonna use the same prompt as well. We're gonna do this. And we, can, we can do black and green next time. Black and the green. And, okay, we're here 3D. Resend verification email, no problem. I'm just gonna go and get that really quickly so I can actually use their app. Because sometimes these things are a pain in the rear, but you know what? It's just kind of how it is. Um, so I'm gonna go an email here. It's on a different screen somewhere. And uh, okay, there we go. I found the button. And we're going to a consent form. Okay, it's just having me go to some other things over here. All right, I've got, uh, I've got the, um, I've got it now. So, uh, what do I want to make? I want to make gaming. So they can make swords. Um, I just made a assault rifle, but I guess we can't. Okay, fine. Gaming, we'll do a, a, a chaos cyber cyber sword. That's fine. Generate. Now, okay, this one seems to be uh, a bit different. They have nine generations left, downloads left, so they're they're itemizing uh, both of those. I don't like the the UI as much as Meshly because it looked a lot different, and they kind of box you in more here. Like I had to make a sword. I didn't want to make a sword. Um, so the, 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 um, the selection here is much less. Now, depends on how it's going to be um, quality wise. It might be better. How do we get more credits? How do they monetize it? $5 for one credit for one download. Wow. That's wild. Um, oh, I, I can generate, but I can't download. So. This one just seems to be a lot, oh, $5 per download per model. Okay, we'll see how that one looks. So there's that. Uh, the, another one I'm going to go over here is Luma AI. It's a Discord bot style one. Um, this is, so I used a black and green cyber, cyber, chaos cyber assault rifle. And this is what it came up with. Got some flames. That one looks like, um, like a, a submachine gun style. That one's more like a, like a deformed assault rifle kind of thing. So I did the high res for the first one. <clears throat> that's gonna take some time. So that's what it looks like. And if I wanna download it, <clears throat> here downloads are free. Here they're, they're not and it's still generating. So I guess it's doing a high res. Here, let's say I wanted to download this one right now. This one is uh, Luma Labs. This is what it looks like. And if I wanted to download it, these are the file formats. I got GLTF, Blend, OBJ, FBX, like the standard ones. I'm not gonna touch this one though. This one looks um, like defunct. These credits I think are too pricey and this one's still doing its thing. Uh, while we're doing that, so this is 5% done. These are gonna be a high res of the other one that we just saw. Yeah, it is what it is. So I'll put, I'm gonna put this one here and I'm gonna put this back on the tab here, because Meshlify is still doing its thing. It's still doing its generation, 18%. Oh, 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 it's done. 
No way. Okay, let's see how that looks. This is a, a green and black cyber sword. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess for a sword, it's all right. I mean, it's um, it's a sword. You know what I want to do is something more, with more deal like a cyborg. That would be cool. Yeah, I'll do a cyborg. This is this is okay. That's okay. I'm gonna do. I can't even do a cyborg. So that's that's three D Fi. All right, let's get started in Alpha three D. And in the meantime, oh, this is done. Okay, well, before we look at the cyborg, let's look at um, this high resolution one. Wow, that one looks pretty freaking good. There's obviously some things there like that's not straight, the barrel, um, but it looks really cool. It definitely got an orange tone to it, which before that didn't exist. Uh, before, it was more of a white tone, but yeah, I picked up the yellow somewhere. Uh, looks cool, though. It looks like functional. Um, the scope is really basic. But I did notice that there is a tool here to fix the texturing. And if I go here, if I go here, there is the, um, what's it called? The ability to uh, fix the texturing by selecting it. So if I want to do some feedback here, the quality of its three speeds, okay. Accuracy is all right. Uh, let's call it vent barrel for rifle. The reason why I'm doing that is they give you five coins back for doing some feedback. This is a great way to get user feedback for apps because, well, I basically got a free rough draft, which is cool. Just for uh, just commenting on on how the the thing went, which is pretty pretty nifty. Um, so that's that's pretty cool. Uh, what if I want to do a, a cyber cyborg um, robot warrior? Let's see what I get. And just so that I don't get this, well, let's see let's see what a realistic one is. I'm, I'm curious. While that's going on, that one's not that great. I want to sign up here with Google. Let me see what I need. What do I need to do to sign up with Google on these? Um, oh well, yeah. It's 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 just prompting. It's prompting away and, and doing its thing. Uh, okay, three D five. Not a big fan. Can can I save this? Do I, do I download it? And view. Download options. Buy forward slash download. Okay, so, and they don't even have um, the, the STL and stuff like that. Like, the cool thing I like about this, look at these cyborgs. Whoa, 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 these are pretty cool. Whoa. They look pretty cool from a glance. Um, wow. I'm excited to see these, actually. Okay, that one's got, like, a sword. It's like, uh, that one's got, they all have swords for some reason. Okay, this one looks probably the coolest. Uh, what about this one? This one's sword is, no, his arm is like fused into his body. This one has a weird thing on the thing and he's missing an arm entirely here. This one is the one to refine. I'm gonna refine this one. But the really cool part is, okay, let's say, like I, I made this, um, I made this, for example, I, I made this, um, chair the other day. Let's say I wanted to 3D print it. I can just download it as an STL right off the bat and just 3D print it. And it's 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 going to be printable straight into uh, a slicer and then uh, it's done. All right. Alpha 3D. Let's see. Add new project. So they all have a token system. I got 500 tokens just for making an account. Um, oh my god. I got to Okay, let's let's do it. Let's let's um, let's make a. You know what? I like the cyborg. The cyborgs are cool. Okay, let's see what kind of cyborg warrior it can do. Generate. 
10 tokens. Okay. All right. I'm not a huge fan of this one. Uh, it's making something in the background. It says in production. I click on it, and it's um, kind of buggy. And it's it has weird rectangle slice. The circle is as big as a small rectangle. Whatever. I'm going to let that sit. It's uh, not looking too great so far. All right. Dream Fusion. Dream Fusion. What do you do? Oh, I see. This is a... Um, this looks interesting. These are example assets. Okay, I'm going to search their example assets. Let's see what they've got. Whoa, these look, um, they look like it's in a dream. It's dream fusion for sure. Uh, they don't look very cool. I would never put these in a game, but I think it uses a different method to make these 3D models, which is why they look so fuzzy. Uh, I forget the name of it. I think it's, um, I'm, I'm not sure if it's a Gaussian splat, but this thing is a little different. Let's see. Dream Fusion, blah, 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 blah. Uh, deep dream-like procedure. Okay, well, at the end of the day, it doesn't look too great for what I want to use it for. It looks a little unrealistic this one sloyd okay this house that's cartoony let's see this one oh this was the sword this one is the side oh the cyborg the cyborg robot warrior it looks like it's done kind of what's alpha 3d doing come on guys what is this is it done approved what do you mean approved they have to approve it oh there's like nsfw stuff going on here that's another, that's another question is the NSFW capabilities of these things is, are these censored? That's the real question. Anyhow, Sloyd, let's try the beta. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to sign up, sign in. That's, that's crazy with the little chicken there. And, you know, for these, I'll see if I can sign up for all of them. So, okay, Sloyd. We're in Sloyd. Can we make a cyborg? Low graphics, better performance. We'll do, we'll do, what is this? Weapons, buildings, furniture, and props. People, animal scenes. Okay, fine. Then I'll do the... Uh, their chaos assault rifle and then we'll see what it can do i feel like i'm in blender right now what this is it that was pretty fast actually that was really fast that was that was pretty impressive um it doesn't look cool at all oh it's in the rifle category oh i can just randomize it Ah, uh, these are like pre-built, so that's why they look so good. Uh, machine gun, stock, shotgun. Oh, I see. It doesn't look very good, though. It looks like Roblox grade. Look at this thing. I've seen better guns in Roblox. Well, uh, oh, this is the material? I don't know. I'm not a fan. Uh, Alpha 3D, been there. No. Okay, so this is the local one. This one runs on my GPU. Um, oh, and before I do this one, actually, no, I want to do this first. We're going to do this. I want to do the cyborg. I want to do the cyborg. And we're going to hit uh, generate right off the bat. We'll see how that is. I, what I have noticed here, this one can do image and stuff like that too. This does it in a POI format. I'll go over that in a moment. Functionally speaking, I can't just like open it on my system, which um, isn't that great, but we'll, we'll see how it looks. Um, so anyhow, my cyber rifle, my cyber cyber rifle is here. And we've got, yes, here's some examples. That's a Pikachu, looks pretty cool. 
-hmm. missing a tail. That's okay. Another Pikachu. Where's my, where's my, um, thing? this is the high res cyber rifle. You know what? It looks like someone made it. Um, they made a, a really nice one uh, at a clay shop and then they left it to melt. And that's exactly what that looks like. So, you know, it's not that great, but it is what it is. And then, of course, we've got uh, this local model running here. So, for the local model, let's see what it's doing in the background. It is 17% um, done. Now, it's pretty cool. The local model does host like a web server for anyone on the network to be able to generate models. If they go to port 8001, but um, we're going to see if it's even worth generating in the first place. So, so far, my favorite one, Sloyd is Roblox generator. I, I mean, I'm sure that you can export it. Does it call OBJ and GLB? So no FBX, whatever. Um, but I guess it's good for the things that it's, it's able to do. Like machinery palette. God, that looks terrible. Rifle reset. What else can it do? What if I don't want? Uh, okay, I'll try mage, I'll, I'll try, uh, mage staff with horns. I'll try their example. So what? It's just gonna pop open um, a mage staff with horns. That's yeah, a mage staff with horns. You know what's missing here in Sloyd is the textures. It just doesn't come with um, cool textures right off the bat. It, this looks really, really basic, really basic. Uh, inversely, watch, I'm gonna go over here and give me a, um, that's refining, mage, slap, mage staff with horns. Well, we want it to look like really cool. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna put, um, you know what, I'm gonna give the same baseline just so we can kind of be fair. That's still loading, okay. Alpha 3D, terrible. Sloyd, uh, forest themed. Okay, we're gonna get forest themed. Forest themed um, horns. Okay, fine, we'll, we'll, we'll run with it. We'll generate that, we'll see how that looks. All right, forest themed stuff with horns. Here's the robot that finished, high res. 20 coins, and let's see how it looks. Let's see, okay. So, uh, the hand, one, two, three, four, five fingers, roughly. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, there's a little bit of, um, let's call it, the bodies like meshing together there, but that's fine. The feet, really interesting. It's It's got like a like big, Dinosaur feet, it's kind of crazy. The knife that comes out of the hand with the plasma rifle mount is interesting. The face can use some work. So this definitely can use lots of, um, lots of, the speed's fine, accuracy is good. Uh, lots of texture improvements to be made here. Like, it's not that great on the textures, but, like this is the texture map. But it, it does look like a, a robot. It's got an antenna sticking out that's not completely symmetrical. But you know what? It's all right. Would I want to, would I want to, uh, would I want to share this thing? You know what? If it gets featured, it gets featured. Yeah, I'll push it. Why not? But um, yeah, if I push it, it becomes open source. That's, that's a whole process. So. That's nifty. Yeah, and the cool part is uh, with this community, like they, they really want you to promote it. Because if you promote it and people people click on it, then you get some coins back. Uh, otherwise, um, yeah, it's just uh, it's just something something kind of cool to be able to. And this is the gun here. So, so this is the you know, copy link to this thing someone clicks on it and they get 20 and you can have your friends do it. What is this one? Weaponry? Oh, they auto tag it for you. Oh, fantastic. It's very nifty. Sweet. So yeah, if it gets featured, it gets featured. All right, let's look at the, um, the, the major horns. 
the mage staff. What is this? That is absolutely garbage. That's terrible. There's an argument that this thing is like a multi-dimensional entity that just fades through the forest. Or the art. No, this is terrible. Alpha 3D. Oh my God, this is the worst thing I've seen. All right. This thing is still processing. So it's at... Um, Oh, it's oh, it's almost what is this? Is one hundred percent? Torch was not compiled internally. Oh no! I hope it doesn't have to compile, compile Torch to like render that. But Sloyd's um, staff with horns versus Meshley's staff with horns. Albeit this one is um, oh wow, this one's cool. This is like truly with horns as forest themed. I'm just seeing which one that I, um, this one's just simple horns. Which one, if I refine, is going to be the best one? That one looks a little too bright for me. This one is like the most foresty themed one. This one's not bad either. Because all of these like low poly things are going to turn into something cool. Um, like a charm or something like that. This one's not bad either, actually. But the one that's the most forest themed, because if we're going to look at Sloyd, it's like greenish. We're going to refine this one. We're going to refine this guy. We're going to see how it looks. And um, we're going to see how that is. Okay. Oh, my God. Wow. That's terrible. This is our cyborg, cyber cyborg robot warrior. You know what? If I said cyber cyborg robot head, this isn't terrible. Um, it's got some detail to it. The texture is not bad, but it's not it's not ready to go. It looks a little interesting, and it's a PLY format, which is uh, not not easy to work at. This is a multi view image, which is pretty cool. There's the front, back, side, so. Um, Definitely the lowest amount of formats that you can work with. It, it takes a long time to do. Um, so yeah, there's that. And I'm gonna download this and I'll, I'll try to see how I can uh, open that later. But um, yeah, it's, it's not the best. So definitely my favorite so far is, um, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be definitely Meshly. And this is, this one's not even refined, but I have a feeling it's going to be pretty good. Sloyd, Sloyd is interesting because you can have multiple things in here. But, oh, here's some moon head, bended staff, spinning head. Oh, so these are, these are presets. But it looks so simple. Patterned head, that looks cool. Like, look at the spinning head. I'm sure if I put it in uh, Meshly, it's going to look way better. This one literally looks like some coil. And it's just like too flat. It doesn't look like super realistic. Um, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of it myself. 3D Fi. This thing, it's all right. This looks viable. I would put this in a game. But uh, it's too expensive per model. It's like $5 a model. Um, and what if I don't like it? I know there's generations with it, but still, I don't know. Not, not a huge fan of it. Oh, and they box me, and that's why I chose swords. Because there's categories you have to choose from. Table lamps, sofas, tables, ottomans, cutlery. It's like for t interior design and like a really basic sword and shield game. You got swords, shields, axes. That's it. No bows, no crossbows, no guns, no staves, no uh, any turrets or, or tanks or whatnot. I'm sure I can make a tank in Meshly, no problem. I mean, this was the cyber cyborg robot warrior refined, which is, you know, I could put this in a game. It looks decent. You can rig it. You can, you can like delete out this like body fusing element. It's got a lot of uh, polygons on it. It's high detail, but it's not nothing you couldn't really fix in there. The textures are, are workable. And it's worth noting like with premium for what? 20 bucks a month, you can have the ability to uh, to fix the textures 
I think that this is pretty good. It, save, it would save a lot of time. And this is a high poly. I can imagine you do a low poly without any issues. So last thing I'm really going to look at here is this uh, staff here because all of the other ones, like the Discord one, like these are, for example, these are some of the high polys. Um, the thing with Meshly is you can't download other people's stuff. But this looks really good. These look really, really good. Oh, that one looks terrible. That one looks really good. Oh, is this a low poly? Maybe these are low polys and that's why they don't look that good. That's cool. Little emoji. That's a, a Legend of Zelda shield in a circular form. Okay. That's a... That, you can rig that and put it into a, like an old school Tomb Raiders type game. It looks decent. Lamps, those look detailed enough. Uh, I put this one out the other day. There's my sandwich. Here's a Legend of Zelda Hyrulean Shield. Looks like it could go in a game. That looks pretty realistic. These all look quite good. Well, these are, this is Luma AIs. These are their high res featured showcase. Not, not even close. Um, these are a lot more blocky, a lot more like melted, I would say. They look a lot different. Uh, I don't know what these are at all. Directional arrow? Okay. No, these don't look that great. So let's see. This thing should be done now. All right, so this is the last thing we're going to do. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That, that, let me just do a side-by-side. -side. Just, just, wow. There's no contest. It looks, it looks incredible. It, it looks, it looks absolutely amazing. Look at that. We've got over here. I can't even like function with this UI at all. This is the, the staff with the whole, oh, this one, oh, let me put the horns back. The, um, what is the, the, the head with the horns, the druids, the druid head. There we go. That's the druid head. This has omelets hanging off of it. There's like detailed uh, just designs on the entire staff. It looks like there's green gemstones embedded inside of it. This thing takes the cake when it comes to forest themed mage staff with horns. It looks fantastic. Um, quality, high, speed, accuracy, fantastic. How can it do better? Um, you know what? Uh, I mean, the objects really, really come off quite well. Maybe add like a, a sharpness to the gemstones. But aside from that, it looks fantastic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send this out. This looks great. Nature and plants, weapons and military. Look at that, fantastic. I'm already pre-tagged it. It's like ready to go. So after checking out like eight of them here or a good amount of them uh for sure meshly is the best one it's it's functionally free i can download this thing i can do it on my computer no problem like i'll showcase it here if i wanted to uh, download this as a ob uh, a glb file i hit download it just downloads there's no and look i can oh i can click on this and i can open it right on my computer i've got windows 3d viewer here it is I've got the local file right here. It's amazing. Looks 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 quite great. Um, I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a turnable. Look at that. There's a 3D model all ready to go. Locally downloaded. Um, and the, the tokens, I think it's I think it's really well. Um, it's fairly priced. Even the free tier is functional. Like I have a really, really good indication whether or not it works. And they have a fix for the textures being broken because uh, the, like the robot, for example, is terrible. The, the robot, for example, we can fix that with uh, AI texturing, with uh, just getting a pro. So if you do a lot of 3D modeling or you want to add in assets for a game or whatnot from scratch, you can just do this. And another cool thing is, um, now I'm not sponsored by them. I just think it's really cool. If you, want, if you like someone else's design, you can remix it or you can just download it straight if you have premium. You can just like take their design. If you like something someone already made, just grab it. I think that's pretty nifty. It saves a lot of time. If they've already made like this mecha, this Gundam, just grab it, rig it, hazmat suit guy, done. All, 
open and available to use. So that's pretty much it for this. I think this is a pretty good assessment of all the text to 3D model um, platforms and solutions out there. I think that uh, this one's probably the best one. So anyhow, that's all for me on this one. Take care and stay sharp.